1022, that was, uh, I mean, 1028. Like I said, I can't read digital clocks. There's Loki. Anyway, Jeroboam, the second king of Israel. Second Kings, chapter 13, verses 23 through 29. In the 15th year, 15th year of Azariah, M A A M A Z I A H, son of Joshua, J O A A S H, king of Judah, Jeroboam, the son of Joshua, J E H O A S H, king of Israel, became king of Sam in Samaria. He reigned forty-one years. He did evil in the eyes of the Lord, and did not turn away from any of the sins. Jeroboam, son of Nebat, N-E-B-A-T. Oh, yeah, Jeroboam, son of Nebat. Which he had caused Israel to commit. He was the only one who restored the boundaries of Israel from Lebo, e uh, no, L-E-B-O, Hamath, H A M A T H, to the Dead Sea, Hebrew Sea of the Arabia, A R A B A H, Arabia, <coughs> in accordance with the word of the Lord, the God of Israel, spoken through his servant. Jonah, J O N A H, yeah. son of Entemiah, A M T I, no, A M I T T A I, the prophet from Gath, J A T H, Hefer, H E P H E R, Lord had seen how bitterly everyone in Israel. Rather, slave or free was suffering. Hmm. Or Israel was suffering. They were without a ruler or leader, and <coughs> there was no one to help them. <coughs> and since the Lord had not said he would blot out the name of Israel from under the heaven, he saved them by the hand of Jeroboam, son of Joshua. As for the other events of Jeroboam's reign, all he did and his military achievements, including how he recovered Israel from Israel, no, for Israel, both Damascus and Hamath, which had belonged to Judah, Two similar names, just saying. Are they not written in the book of the annals of the kings of Israel? Jeroboam rested with his ancestors, the kings of Israel, and Zechariah? Z Z E C H A R I A A. His son succeeded him as king. <clears throat> 1032.